Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts and I want to talk about hormone testing and specifically more the sex hormones like the estrogen, progesterone and testosterone and I want to make the distinction between the different types of testing so whether it's the blood test, so the serum hormone panel or it's the salivary hormone testing and then we also have urine hormone testing. So these are three different tests that we can run for the hormones. And often I'll have patients who come in and say, oh yeah, I had my hormones tested and they all came in within normal range. I will say, well, what kind of test did you have done? And they'll say, oh, I just had a blood test that checked my hormones and, uh, and they all seem to be fine. The blood test just doesn't give us the full story. So that's why I wanna go through the distinction and the difference between these different tests and these different ways that we look at hormones. Now, a blood test, so a serum hormone test, what it's looking at is it's looking at both the bound and the unbound hormones, and it gives you a total hormone number. So it doesn't distinguish between the bound and the unbound hormones. So what can happen is that we can have a normal amount, a normal number showing up, or we can even have a high range, but that doesn't tell us how much is unbound and biologically active in terms of those hormones. So sometimes you can have those numbers in the normal range or even in a high range, but if those unbound are actually in the low range, then you can actually seem like you're functionally deficient in those hormones. Now with the salivary hormone test, it's measuring the unbound, free, biologically active hormones that are actually available to be able to bind to the receptors. And these are the only type of hormones that are actually able to make their way into the saliva. So when we measure the salivary hormones, we're able to get an idea of how many free, unbound, biologically active hormones are in circulation. So this gives us a better idea of the hormone balance in the body. Now the urine hormone test will measure the unbound free hormones, but it will also measure the hormone metabolites. So we will get an idea of the parent hormones and how much of those hormones are active, but it will also give us an idea of how those hormones are metabolized in the body. And this is really interesting insight to see which pathways these hormones go down in your system. So this gives us a lot more insight into how hormones are being used and utilized in the body. So these are just some different ways that we can be testing hormones in the body. And I just wanted to go through the distinction of those three different types of hormone testing. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I encourage you to share this with your friends and family, to press the like button, to make a comment below. And until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.